Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from azurautomation.com and welcome to another video from Azure Automation. And today we're going to see how we can actually build a bot and automate the bot using an automation testing tool like Playwright. And it is much, much easy to see that how you can build a bot using any third party services, which helps you build the bot. And also it's much, much easier to automate these bots because as you can see in the demo over here, these bots run much, much faster using this automation testing tool because all these bots at the end of day is actually boiled down as a DOM or a document object model. So if it is running on a browser, then it is much, much easy to automate them because we have many automation testing tools like Selenium or Cypress or Playwright or any automation testing tool which can identify these uh, bot identifiers and then you can automate them. It is super easier to do that. And again, because these applications these days, which are being built or considering TDD in mind, like testable application in mind, these applications or even the bots come with a lot of unique identifier. So it is much, much easier to automate them. And at the same time, if your bot is being built by your company, then it is even more easier for you to go and ask your developer to add a unique identifier so that you can use them to automate your application much easily without any fragile automation testing code. So I'm going to show you how to build a simple bot that I have shown you on the demo right now. And also I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes, like how you can build an automation testing for them and run the automation testing, like how we just saw over here. All right, so let's get started. So as you can see over here, I actually have a bot creating uh, application like landbot.io, which helps you build a chatbot. I mean, you can build a chatbot using web, WhatsApp, uh, Facebook Messenger, or even an appy chatbot like an application if you wanted to. And I'm going to choose the first one because I don't really want to do it other way around. And then I'm going to choose the start from scratch over here. If you choose that, it's going to help you to show you like what are the messages that you really wanted to uh, add. So you can select the high message and then you can drag something like this and then you can put a uh, media message here if you really wanted to or you can send a message saying how are you doing something like that. And if you do that, it will just show you like once you select hi, it will show you how are you doing and then you can add one more interactions from here. Then you can say uh, saying, uh, can you please enter your uh, email, something like that. And then you can send like a message or the most easiest way to just save the time, at least for this video purpose is by creating a altogether a new uh, chatbot from the template that we have got. So if I go over here, you can see there are so many uh, templates of chatbots available. And I'm gonna choose something like an advanced lead generation, use this one. And then you can see that it is gonna show you a very, very complex workflow for the lead generation. It's all coming automatically by just single click. And you can see that you can just customize this if you really wanted to, or you can delete this workflow if you really wanted to and things of that nature. So I'm just gonna choose this guy and I'm just gonna preview this draft uh, message like how it's gonna look like. And I'm gonna share this uh, bot uh, using a link if I wanted to, or I can even choose like a pop-up and then I can apply and then I can copy this link. So this is the link which I was talking about. So if you go uh, to any one of the uh, browsers, so let's say if I'm gonna choose a private window over here and I'm gonna choose this. If I hit enter, you can see that the chat bot that we just created will be available for us over here. You can see that. And if I hit hi, then it's gonna say, what is your name? So if I put like Karthik, if I hit uh, like that, it's a nice to meet you Karthik. So this is one of the messages that it gives me. So we can test whether the this particular message comes in and then I can add a, uh, a dummy email and you can see that the email has been added. It says a thank you message, like a greeting. And then it asks me the company name. So I can just put the company name over here. And if I hit send, it's gonna ask me how many employees the company has got, at the moment just one. Uh, and asking me uh, what is the ma average marketing cost I spend. I probably spend nothing, probably put $10. And then it's asked me a lot of questions over here. So I can increase the website and something like that. 
and then you can see that all these details comes in so all these workflows are automatically been created using this uh, land bots template which has been available for us and i'm going to automate this particular ui and i'm going to show you how we can do that and again for automating this particular ui i'm going to be doing or using a playwright automation testing tool and i've extensively talked about the playwright in many different language binding like javascript typescript uh, also in java and c sharp and i also talked about how you can do a lot of network interaction working with cookies error driven testing and integrating with azure devops github actions and also like uh, how you can run with cucumber pdd support and stuff i have covered everything in this particular course i'm just going to use a snippet of this particular code and i will show you how you can use the playwrights test runner to actually do this for you so i'm actually going to choose one of the project which i have already shown in my course and i'm going to use the playwrights uh code gen option which is going to be nothing but the playwright uh, test recorder and i'm just going to use npx playwright code gen of this particular um, url that we just copied and i'm gonna hit enter so that it is going to show me a new uh, browser over here and as you can see that it brings me up this particular recorder along with that particular chat bot being loaded for us which is pretty cool and now i can just do a high click you can see that it just shows me the recording option has been going on over there and then i can just enter the name like karthik and that's been recorded as well and i'm gonna say karthik at uh, techgeek.co.in hit enter so it just brings me up like karthik i can do an assertion if i really wanted to so i can click that and i can put the company name as execute automation um, and hit send and the number of employees let's put 12 for now and or maybe one and then average marketing cost as 10 and then i'm gonna say uh, better lead qualification which we didn't select it actually uh, so i'm gonna say no for now and it brings me up so many messages though yeah okay uh, in the meantime you can sign up here to access and it says bye for now which is bad so i can just hit this you can see that once i click that it's going to open up a uh, a new a tab i'm just going to close that and it's all looking good so this is the one thing which i have automated at the moment so it looks like a small workflow though but i'm just going to copy this code which i have recorded and i'm just gonna stop the recording option that i have created and i'm gonna add this in the uh, new file over here a uh, new test dot js and i'm gonna paste this guy over here so whatever that i have uh, created so generated it's all i'm just gonna copy paste it over here all right and looks like everything is clearly generated for us and now if i just wanted to run this particular test all i'm going to do is just put the node and then bot new test.js so once i hit that you will see that the recorder which it has recorded the whole operation that i just performed will be automatically played back for us using this automation testing tool like playwright which is quite cool and quite interesting because the most important thing to understand here is all these bots are once again a DOM object and it is really really easier to automate these uh, DOM elements uh, using any automation testing tool. It can be Playwright or it can be uh, Puppeteer or it can be Cypress. You can name it and you can use them. So it's much much easier. So that's it guys. This is one of the questions I have been keep getting from, from the community asking how we can automate these uh, bots using an automation testing tool. And the answer is, it can be any automation testing tool. There is nothing like a BotM that you can really want to use it. I don't think you need to use a BotM for that matter. But personally, I feel you can just use any automation testing tool to automate the bots. So that's it, guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video. And you guys have a great day.